What is America? Is it this country? Or is it this continent? Or is it this guy? Toponymy is the science that studies the names of places, and it divides country names into four categories. The directly descriptive names. These are the countries that take the name from the people that used to live there, or a feature of its ethnic group. France took their name from the Franks tribe. Ghana got its name from an empire that used to be there in the 13th century. And in case of Papua New Guinea, Papa means frizzy hiring. And Guinea comes from the Tuareg word aginao, that means black people. Korea is called Daihan in Korean, and it means big Han, from the Han tribes that established there in the second century BC. Vietnam took their name from the Bac Viet tribe that lived in the southeast of China. Italy from the Vitali tribe, and Switzerland by the Schwiz people. The second group is the country names taken from some aspects of their land. In the southwest of Montenegro, there's a mountain with a dark gray color. And if your Spanish is good enough, you'll know that Monte means mountain and Negro means black. Sierra Leone got its name from the roaring sounds heard by the Portuguese colonizers in the mountains. They sounded like lion roars, but in fact, they were thunders. Iceland is a funny story. The Icelandic people didn't really want any visitors, so they decided to name the island that way to deter visitors from coming. The third group are the countries named after its location. Japan means land of the rising sun, and they are in the east of China, and the sun obviously rises from the east. Same with the country of Timor-Leste. Timor means east in Malay, and Leste means east in Portuguese, so they could be called East East. Australia comes from Australis, that means southern in Latin, a short name of how the Greeks call the lands on this side of the world. And South Africa was clever. Their address is embedded on their name. Hi dude, what's your name? I'm South Africa, but where are you? South Africa. The fourth and final group are the countries that take their name from a person, like the Philippines, named after Spain's King Philip II. The America part of the United States of America name is thanks to this guy, who figured that Christopher Columbus had found a new continent instead of landing in India like he originally thought. Some people didn't get the memo, and still call these guys Indians. Colombia, as you probably figured, is named in honor of Christopher Columbus. Barbados means the bearded ones. Columbus named that island after looking at the banyan trees that you can find there. Other countries were named directly by Columbus, like Santa Lucia. This is the only country named after a female name. It was thanks to Santa Lucia of Syracuse, a Christian martyr. Bolivia was named after their national hero, Simon Bolivar. The Solomon Islands after the biblical king. And if you thought Turkey was named after a bird, you'd be wrong. The name was taken after the ethnic group that used to live there. And then there's a bonus group, the rest. Names that don't fit into any of these groups, like Comoros, comes from the Arabic al kamar and means moon. And talking about the moon, Mexico, which is a simplification of Metzilquico, yeah, saying Mexico is a lot easier, it also means in the navel of the moon. The Bhutanese people call their country Druk Yul, that means land of a thunder and dragon, which is pretty badass, right? Now, do you want something more relaxing? Nauru, an island in the Pacific, was named after the indigenous word anaero, which means I go to the beach. Another curious case is the Netherlands, aka Holland. That's just the name of a province in the country. The Holland area was very wealthy and had a lot of influence in the 19th century over the rest of the country. Thanks to that influence, people began to understand the Holland province as a referential point and took it as a country name. Now, in this part of the video, is where we would add a name for our sponsor, but we don't have one. So make all those things that help us grow. Subscribe, hit that bell button, and that's everything for today. Stay fresh.